Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how you can export characters and its animations from Mixamo.com. So the first thing you need to do is make an account on this website. Link will be in the description below. And then you need to select a character. Uh, in my case, I really like this ninja character. So I'll just select it and we need to click on downloads and now we need to download it with skin and as it is for unity you need to select fbx for unity we can keep the frames at 30 frames per second and uh, keyframe reduction let's keep it at none and let's hit on download now i will download this directly on my unity project so let me just go ahead and open that in explorer and just uh, go inside this fbx folder now this this fbx folder i have already created it so let's do one thing yeah uh, i have opened that already so i'll just copy the path from my file explorer and now let's go ahead over here and let's paste that path over here now i will make a new folder let's call it character uh, dash ninja and then let's open that folder now i will rename this to uh, ninja at tpose so let's save it and now let's also get an animation now i think you can get a specific animation related to your character if you just type in its name so we can just copy the name from over here uh, or i guess we can't i'll just type it ninja and i think i'll take a uh, idle animation so this is not really that great of an idle animation um this is by the way this is a pack of animations so you can download this as well if you want so you'll get all the animations combined in one fbx file which is really great uh, i think i'll just type in an ideal animation T I L ideal animation ideally okay um so let me take something that is noticeable so yeah happy ideal looks good okay now let's just click on download then i want this animation now keep this at for unity now we will download the animations without skin so click on without skin keep the frames per second on 30 and let's download it and now you we can like change this from t pose to happy idol and let's save it okay so we downloaded the animation as well so as you can see we got our folder over here and this is our character with the mesh now let's drag and drop this character into our scene let's press f to focus on it uh, let's go into the scene view okay so now as you can see this is my character and it doesn't have textures yet so what we will do is we will create another folder inside our this uh, ninja folder let's create another folder let's name it textures and let's name let's make another folder and let's name it materials now click on the t pose version which has the mesh go to materials and then we will do extract textures and we want to extract textures in this textures folder so select the texture folder and select folder uh, for the normal map just click on fix now uh, and now we can also create materials for it so let's click on extract materials and then we will select the materials folder we created select folder and it has created all the materials we need so this material name is ch24 body so you can change the parameters as you want okay so our character is also textured right now so let's uh, create a simple armature out of it or you can say animator component so select your fbx file the tpose one also you can do one thing let's create another folder uh, and then make it animations now take this ideal animation which has no mesh to it and plug that into the animations folder 
so this is your original fbx file now let's go inside the rig and then as you can see avatar definition let's create from this model and let's click apply so this will create an avatar component and then create this avatar as you can see over here in the fbx file so now what we can do is we need to create the controller of it so let's create an animator controller so just right right click create and then select the animator controller we can name this ninja now select the fbx file in the hierarchy and then drag and drop this animator component over here uh, oh sorry i mean animator controller now you can open up the animator controller and as you can see uh, we can now uh, let me dock that over there okay so now we can drag and drop animations over here so the first animation i have is this ideal animation now there are two ways you can do this you can either drag and drop it like this and then you can change the name or you can right click create an empty and now you can name this empty as ninja idle and then you can select the animation from over here happy idle so it all depends on you how you want to do it uh, now if let's check everything is on its component okay now you can hit play by the way our camera is i think far away from our ninja but animation is still playing let us go to the scene view and as you can see that my character is playing that animation but it only played it once uh, and to make it loop what you have to do is you have to select the animation fbx and then go to the animations and as you can see it has a checkbox over here which says loop time just select loop time and then apply and now if i hit play let's me click on the scene view as you can see it is playing that animation on loop over and over again this is how you import animations and character from mixamo and apply it to your model so that's it for this video in the next video i will actually show you how you can create uh, a melee comeback system so this was a tutorial asked by someone so let me just show you what we are going to learn actually i'm not going to create this from the scratch uh, i will just show how i did it uh, it will be an in-depth video so yeah do check it out so as you can see i have created this character uh, it is from mixamo by the way uh, all the animations are from the mixamo uh, it is walking and if I left click it starts the comeback it even plays the comeback once if you have a little bit of delay and then if you right click it equips the weapon if you right click again it unequips it and then if you equip the weapon it plays different animation of the comeback which is related to weapon so I will explain how I made this in, in depth in the next video. So to know more about it, uh, stay tuned to my channel by subscribing and like this video if you learn something new. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.